put yeah. everything into NFTs. It's my understanding that they're mm -hmm. really taking off. Can I just <laughs> say on the done. NFT thing? I, I want to say I think the the PKA podcast was came together and all and 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 the three of us agreed with our limited bit of knowledge that the NFT thing was either A, above our heads and maybe a good idea, or most likely B, just silly and a big ripoff from people who are like, hey, remember Bitcoin? We got a new thing that's just like it. Give us all your money. And so far, that's what I've seen, except it's less secure because I keep seeing people having their NFTs stolen. And I keep seeing like like fake transactions and, and fraud and scams. And then, of course, you saw the guy who like bought the NFT of uh, the first tweet for like, I don't remember how many hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seven hundred thousand, maybe. I, yeah, enough to buy a a, a small house <laughs> these days. Oh my god, and, houses now. I think it might have been um, in the millions. Like yeah, something really. absurd. Yeah, it, he lost it all though. But 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 no, uh, what did it list for? Go on, hit him with the. Was it like two point? Zach, can you million? help us? Two point? He, no, million? he listed it, and the highest bid he got was two hundred bucks. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> I what a dumbass! Oh fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he retarded the week award. Yeah. Yeah. And this is is this Jack Dorsey's first tweet we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, it, it'll take him a second, but Zach will find out what the figures are. I'm curious too. Uh, Dude, losing two million dollars on a picture of like a, a stoned monkey, <laughs> like I can't imagine how that would feel. Realizing like you've destroyed your life for well, a dude, picture of a monkey. Get well, the numbers out ruined. here. Jack Dorsey's first tweet went for two point nine million dollars, and he tried to resell it and got two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Yeah, fuck yes, he, but he lost least, almost yeah. two point nine million. If you lose it all <laughs> and you're left with a stone monkey picture, you at least have the stone monkey picture. But this guy has a fucking screen cap of a tweet. Which is, yeah. more <laughs> is it, is it even a good tweet? Shit. Can he write that off as a loss? Did yeah, try explaining but that the to way like that the IRS like yeah. they... carry forwards, you can <laughs> like you write it off as a I'm loss, but then that. it used to be three thousand dollars a year towards future earnings you could take off. I hope it's higher now. In but at two point nine million, like you're covered for life. That's what I was getting. Can at. you like, imagine like, the, like the maybe for a man show? in his position, like like let's say it's three hundred fifty thousand a year, like for a man in his position, he's like, deal. Maybe it was just plan the whole oh, time. No, no it, I, 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 the implication I'm getting from you is that he can uh, claim it against ordinary income. I think you have to claim it against investment gains uh, that he makes well, in the future. Isn't he like a professional investor or something? I don't know anything about him. Ah, <laughs> like a I don't think that was his last two million. Just to be clear, like, like I hope just, not. Three million, by the way. But yeah, 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 yeah Even yeah. so, like if you, if you're if I was worth ten billion dollars. That would be really embarrassing to lose two million publicly. Okay. If I if I put myself out there as a finance guy, yeah. Like if I was one of those like retard tier Dan Bilzerian billionaires who like don't really know how they get the money, like you could be like, oh he's yeah, he lost two million. He's always do. I don't know anything about that guy. I just picked an example. But I like, know. like if uh, Warren Buffett lost two million dollars on an NFT, like that would damage Berkshire Hathaway. And people would be <laughs> like, never in I, I he wants to buy Bitcoin. He wants to short Bitcoin. He's like, if there was a way to short Bitcoin 10 years, I'm pretty confident everyone who has it now is going to be left holding the bag. Hmm. And I'm pretty confident that Warren Buffett will be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, safe estimate when you're 102. I would yeah. like to short Warren Buff Buffett's life. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it a six month on the over under. <laughs> Did you but see that yeah. his like, next door neighbor's house? went up for sale and people were scrambling to buy it way over market value because they're like ah, i might run into warren buffett at the fucking mailbox i don't know that's crazy. oh yeah as if and, he gets yeah. his own mail and mows his own grass like hell no that guy's he's, he's, he's one of up. those like fake billionaire like like a pretend man of the people where he's like i live in the same omaha house i did in yeah. 1950s i'm a normal guy i wear dockers and i drive a lincoln and i paid 85 million dollars to get my congressman of choice elected in vermont i'm just yeah. a normal guy like you donating hundreds of millions to people who will give me advantageous tax policies but i like barbecue and and i drive <laughs> a lincoln it's like who's falling for this like <laughs> serious Does you think he doesn't have a, 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 a white so marble underground layer under there his, his own little little shit. Is there any evidence for any of this, Taylor? No. <laughs> Take it <laughs> on face value. <laughs> Did he really buy? Because he need a, do you need a source? Source. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> he's always advocating for higher taxes. He <laughs> seems to live in that house where he stopped. He's not passing on his wealth to his children. Like he has a weird relationship with money. I think. Taylor, I was not passing his wealth on. No, he thinks oh. that it's not. 
good parenting. Now he's going to pass some on. They're going to be like multimillionaires, but he's one of the wealthiest men to have ever lived. Can I tell you how upsetting that would be for me? I'd be oh pissed. yeah, I would because like, like like gut knife him oh, right like there. It, <laughs> like like <laughs> I Tyrion Lannister shot in the belly on the shit. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't crossbow him <laughs> in the, at the lawyer's office when he was trying to get me to sign the paperwork. <laughs> like my dad has guy. talked to me about like what he wants done when he passes away and stuff, and like the idea of like, well, we'll only leave you so much. It's like the first his idea is like, I just want to make sure I leave you as much as I can, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like. Dad, I don't want to have this talk. You should use your money and enjoy the rest of your life. And yeah. he's just like, oh, no. You're going to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Kyle. I'm foregoing chemo treatment for you. And you're like, Dad, please. <laughs> he would. I think that that would be his first inclination. He's that kind of guy. I, Sounds I think, like a selfless guy. I, I think that would be his first inclination. He's like, I'm not going to spend a half a million dollars giving myself three or four more years when – that could buy you a, a you know a start in a business or a new mm -hmm. a quarter of a home these days, dude. I keep um, talking about the mortgage rate, uh, not more not mortgage rates because those are outrageous anyway. Just because all the interest rates are like around five percent or whatever right now, <laughs> but um, it's the uh, what do you may call it? Oh, like like rents up seventeen percent. I saw, and I I think that uh, home prices are just insane right now it's been insane it's bananas can i talk about this for a second i've had this thing where like every generation always fusses about the one before it making their life impossible you guys had it easy for us it's so hard and i just was like you know i've been watching this pattern since i was a little kid trust me when i was you i said that too i wish these old fucks would retire so all the 40 year olds would move up into the 60 year old jobs and all us 20 year olds could have the good jobs that you 40 year olds are squatting on right now. Dicks. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that was my take. And the kids now are saying the same thing. I would be like, Oh my God, our houses are 200 grand. That's fucking ridiculous. I wish I bought it when it was 30 grand. When you did, you know, back in the old days, mm -hmm. your mortgage is nothing. Your expenses are trivial. I have modern day, like mortgage, like house prices to cover. This feels different. You know, regular houses around here, $600,000, you know, these are yeah. 2,200 square foot homes for 600 grand, 700 grand. And it's like, good gosh, that seems like a lot. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yep. Like it, it's, it's made home ownership like impossible for the vast majority of people. You, I think made a great move buying your home a few I years got ago. So early, like I barely made, I got it. I think I bought it like the very, very, very end of 2018. And the value of my house when I bought it versus now, it's gone up like $140,000. I've and gone the other direction. It's actually gone up that much. It's just a bubble. But I, I didn't need to sell my last house. So I missed out on about 400,000 in gains. Yeah. <laughs> I could have rented yeah. it. <laughs> I don't like this conversation. I just bought a house. This conversation sucks. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah. Uh, you struck while the iron blows. was freezing. I, you got me sweating over here. <laughs> I bought a house that is worth it. You it's got like YouTube money. This is a month's earning yeah. you.